Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the midst of a conversation that we were having a few days ago. My apologies for not being available the last couple of days to learn. I was traveling, and it was very difficult to record during those days. But going back to what we said previously, there is a famous concept that Chazal, the sages, teach us of a, and a spiritual exercise that a person can do to infuse within inside of himself the understandings of Amuna based on one word that they say. And that we said is the following. Om Reish Lakish. Reish Lakish said, Anyone who answers Amin after a bracha, during the Kaddish, in any area that we're able to say it, they do it with kol koichi, all of their abilities. The gates of Gan Eden, of the Garden of Eden, the place where the Nisham is going to bask in the glory of the Shechina, they open up for that person. You answer Amen, bekol koichi, with all of your ability. Not just Amen. Amen has to be something that's loud, with fervor, with intention, with feeling. My Amen, what does Amen mean? It's an acronym. Aleph Mem Nun. The Aleph stands for Kel, the name of God. And it's from the word Elohim, which means that he's the master of all the powers. Melech is, means that he's the king. And Neeman means that he is trusted and faithful to produce and to do what he says he's going to do. There are three foundations in our beliefs that are grounded in these three words. When we say the Aleph, it means Hashem's name, which reminds us that He is the creator of the universe. Melech, the king, means Mesiaches, the Maimon, Harsinai, Shubai, Gila, Hashem, Mesmachus, Oilam. Where did Hashem reveal His kingdom in the most remarkable way throughout history, when the Jewish people stood by Har Sinai to receive the Torah, that's when he became the Melech, the king over the world, when he gave us all of the statutes, the dictates, the laws, the obligations, the responsibilities through the Torah that we have, that's when he became the king. And the last word is Ne'eman. He is believed and he is faithful. Hainushai Ne'eman Shiyovies HaMashiach we can trust in HaKadosh Baruch that He's going to bring Mashiach and the ultimate redemption which is a part of the coming of Mashiach. These three concepts that Hashem is the creator of the world, that Hashem is the king over the world, and that we can guarantee that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to bring about the ultimate redemption and Mashiach and better days for the entire world, especially for Kla Yisrael, that's all included in the word Amen. Every time that you answer the word Amen, with great intent, we end up driving home inside of ourselves. We place into our hearts a very deep level of emuna. Imagine a person goes to shul, they can answer Amen a dozen times a day. They listen to somebody making a bracha and they answer Amen to their bracha. You could say it dozens of times a day. Every time that you answer Amen with all of your might, and your kavana, your intention, you infuse inside of your heart and your soul deeper levels of amuna. Hamaral Maisip Inyan Inyan Anias Ami, the Maral adds a little bit to this idea and he explains Shekeshem Shaba Mir's Amin. Liacha Shavua, Nechshav Kiilu Nishba, Afshalo Hiska Biasma Sashavua. If you heard someone sh- swear, they swear they're going to do such and such a thing. And you answer Amen to that Shavuah. So in Halacha, the way that it works is, it's considered as if you yourself made that Shavuah, you made that vow. By another person making the vow, but you answering Amen, you are giving, you are giving credence to the vow that they took, and it's as if you are making the vow yourself. 
Kach Amir is Amen, so too when a person says Amen. Ma'asher says, Ha'kara b'mitziyuz ha'bari afshalai birech b'atzmei. When someone says a bracha, when you're answering Amen to a Kaddish, you answer Amen b'kol k'echa with all of your intention. So you are having the same recognition that it's all coming from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, just like the person who's making the blessing, just like the person who's saying the Kaddish, and whatever other area in life a person is able to say something that warrants to have an Amen at the end. So merely by saying Amen, you are also joining in with this bracha, with this blessing, with this Kaddish, and your amun is being fused inside of yourself in such a deep, inspiring way, you'll walk around as an Amen person, a person of great belief in Kale, that Hashem is the creator of the world, in Melech, that he's the king who's running the world, and Ne'eman, he is believed, and we trust him for the guarantee that eventually he's going to bring the ultimate Geula, the redemption, speedily and in our days. Wishing everybody a wonderful Shabbos, a, a day in which there's many opportunities, whether it's in shul during the davening, at home during Kiddush and Hamaitzi and the benching, all the brachas that a person makes to answer Amen. May we utilize the day of Shabbos to increase our belief in Kale Melech Ne'eman. Good Shabbos to each and every one of you.